good morning guys it is a wet rainy cold damp dark day outside um normally i really like rain i i think that it's very like cozy you can put on your sweaters you drink your hot tea like it's really nice we have had so much rain this summer that everything is just like humid and sticky and damp and it's not not fun at this point um, although I will take it over, you know, a 90 degree humid day. Um, anyway, this is where we are at. The first panel is almost done. Um, I just have to get all the way across this way. And then I'm going back the other way and I'll show you what um, interesting thing is going on. I am still absolutely in love with... Um, the colors in this sweater. I, I did not think that I would like the purple. I know I said that in um, episode, well, episode two, crocheting part one. Um, but I, I really, I'm not, not a huge purple person. I don't use purple often. I don't wear purple often. Um, but it looks really good. My favorite though, still, let's see if I can find a good example. Kind of like right here, if you can see. Um, I love where the flowers got so potent that like it's almost black in the material. Um, there's just so much saturation of that color that it looks like there's a little black speckle. And I really like those spots. Um, I am standing today because I was in the car for four, maybe five hours yesterday. Um, I ended up having to take a little road trip and while it was fun Alfred did not like it he's he likes road trips but not when they're that long and there's nothing exciting for him to be doing um, so he got a little bit annoyed but I did give him a bone and he chewed that for most of the way back so he's fine he slept most of the way there um, but I really don't feel like sitting and crocheting so I'm actually standing um, favorite part about having this nice countertop. Um, it's perfect height, perfect height to crochet. Alrighty, now we are turning. Oops, oops, oops. Alright, so normally this would be the completion of the front panel. I, however, like I've said, I don't like starting and stopping. I hate having to tie on yarn. Um, so I keep going and I will actually crochet a neck hole while I'm going and then flip right over and just keep going down the front side. So it ends up kind of like looking like a poncho for a little while until we sew up the sides or whatever we're gonna do. Um, it's how I make most of my sweaters unless I'm working like in a round going all the way through. Um, one, two. Um, and so for the neck hole, I just chain, you know, however many there are. That way there's a nice hole in the middle. And that's why you don't talk to people while they're making. Um, cause I can't count and talk at the same time. So when you do this, you know, you have your chain, you have to make sure that it lines up with the stitches on the bottom. You don't want to like make it lopsided and have it not line up properly. So however many you're chaining, you have to also match that on the bottom. And then I just reconnect it and 
assuming I did my math right, we should have the same amount on both sides um, for single crochet. So that leaves us with like a nice little neck hole that we will add for this sweater I'm adding a collar on to later. Um, I'm not actually writing the pattern as I go. I've got a funny little sketch um, that I like write all of the measurements and counts and stuff down and then I go back and write the nice finished pattern with all of the information there. So, we are technically on the other side. You can see this is gonna be our neck hole. Put it on, that's the sweater. Super cozy. Um, and so when we go across, I will just go right into these stitches and keep on going right onto the other side. This is as far as we are getting today. You can see this is, you know, the shoulder and we'll be going all the way down. It will be a little ways before we are done with these panels, um, but you can see the little head hole. Um, we will be attaching a collar to that later and I'm probably going to finish most of this panel and I will meet you back when we go to do the ribbing on the bottom. Till then, keep crocheting. Alrighty, this is the finished front panel. Everything you guys saw from working all the way over here, um, the neck hole there in the middle, and then the back side of the panel. This is finally done. We just did our last stitch here, and now I'm using this top down angle because I really want you guys to see what the heck I am doing next. So I finished the row. I have not even chained one like we would to turn. Um, I finished the row here. I am now going to chain six. Six. And turn and I'm going to single crochet back into those. Only five times, of course, because we skipped our first one. So you have this little, this little nubbin here. And making sure that I'm going in the right direction, we are going to now slip stitch into this second loop and turn. And now we are going to single crochet into the back loop only of these five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Chain one and turn. All right, so here's what I do. Slip stitch into the piece. Slip stitch one more because you need two. Every ridge, there's an up and a back. So that's two of these stitches. When we did the other side, there's two stitches per ridge. So we are just creating our ridges. We're gonna go all the way along this. Let me get a little further and I will film again. So I am in the middle of a row, but I have gotten you know, a little further, you can see the ribbing. 
we're just doing the opposite of what we did on the first side. You know, we crocheted the ribbing and then we attached, you know, we, we turned and we started building this all the way up. So we crocheted onto the ribbing. Um, now we are just doing the opposite of crocheting the ribbing onto the piece. So this is one of those instances that you absolutely could just create another piece of ribbing the same length and size as the first time. You know, we could have cut our yarn, finished off um, in that corner where we had just left this off, you know, right in the bottom, cut it, made another piece of ribbing, and then you either, you know, single or uh, slip, sti bleh, slip stitch it onto the piece, or you can take, you know, your needle and thread, you can sew it on, whatever you wanted to do, you could have absolutely done that. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit tricky for me to even be writing this down in a pattern, um, explaining how to do this, which is why I am doing these videos. That is like the number one reason um, for making these videos so that if I have a hard time explaining something or you have a hard time understanding it, then we have these and you can see what in the world I'm talking about. Um, the good thing is, is that it's only five stitches. This, this isn't super um, thick, so it's not terribly long. Um, you can see I'm just kind of going back and forth. I'm not having to turn my whole piece. I can just kind of flip the way the ribbing is um, to keep going. I will say that fifth one, that fifth stitch right in here um, is definitely difficult to see. There are times that I've done this and I've skipped it and I go to do the next row and I realize I've only gotten four there. Um, so just go slow. Take your time with it. That's, that's really the only thing that I can say is it's the same process of five single crochet stitches into the back of your previous um, stitches. You chain one, you turn, and you go back the other direction doing another five single cro crochet stitches. You just have to be very careful with where you're inserting your hook. Keep in mind this is like you can see it's already being pulled by this stitch. That means that there's already a stitch in it. I'm going right into the next one and I'm just doing the two slip stitches. One, two. Now I, I make sure to pull my yarn through because you know we're facing this direction you turn but you can't turn the yarn the same way you you normally would. So I pull the yarn back over the piece and then just keep working into that first stitch there. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one and you're ready to turn. So let's see what that's looking like. And you're just going to do that all the way across. 